Hey guys, welcome back to That's Cooked. Very good to be here. I'm very excited, I'm highly caffeinated. Today we'll be cooking some crispy skin barramundi, some roast potatoes, a bit of a salad, a bit of tartar sauce. Let's do it. First step, we're gonna get our potatoes on. We're gonna preheat our oven to 190 degrees. Um, if you don't have a fan full oven, put up to like 200, 210. These are just some brushed potatoes from the supermarket. Um, they're sort of, I think it's Sebago's. You can use Desiree potatoes, some Kennebec potatoes, whatever potato that has like a nice sort of floury content, because that's what actually gets crispy. That is the kind of thing we're looking for. So I've washed them pretty well, and now we're just gonna chop them up into like decent sized chunks. But yeah, you know, you're looking about like four centimeter pieces. Just want them roughly the same size so they cook evenly. Yeah, I mean, how much can you actually talk about potatoes? You know, that's the real question. A really good whack of salt. That just goes on a high flame, bring it up to the boil, eight to 10 minutes, check it. We want the potatoes to be pretty much cooked all the way through, not like breaking apart. Just make sure the edges are sort of ruffled up a bit. Now we can get on with everything else. Cool, we're gonna start with that tartar sauce. I'll be making my own mayonnaise for it, but if you can't be bothered, your favorite store but mayonnaise will be fine for this. So I'm gonna start with one egg yolk. To that, I'll be adding half a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. A good tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. If you want to use lemon juice, you can. I prefer this. Nice amount of fine salt. And then we're just gonna mix those ingredients together. And at this point we start adding the olive oil. I like to add about 120, 150 mils of oil, depending on, I guess, like how big the egg yolk is and stuff like that. Another little good little trick is just getting your tea towel, giving it a little flip, and then just like putting it like that. And that just sort of helps to stabilize the bowl. And like that, I'm just gonna add my oil real slow. Like, you're not rushing, you know, you got plenty of time, the potatoes are on. This is what we're looking for, really nice thick mayonnaise. Yeah, it's like a really nice solid base. Alrighty, so there are many like different variations to make a tartar sauce. Um, some people put like gherkins and stuff in it. I like to have capers, dill, and shallot in mine. Start by using about half a shallot. This is quite a large one, so I probably won't need all of it. If you have really good knife skills and a really good knife, and you want to dice it like, sort of like this, that's really awesome. But if your knife skills aren't that good and your knife isn't that good, that's also really fun. You can just like go over it and do the old like hand over knife situation. You know, in a restaurant I'd be caned, you know? Can't do that in a restaurant as a chef. So it's probably about a tablespoon of chopped shallots. I've got a small sort of handful of dill over here. Just take it off like the big stalks. If you don't like dill, you can substitute anything green. Obviously, parsley is really nice in this. Um, some chopped anchovy would be really nice in there. A bit of preserved lemon would be nice in there. Like, you can really can modify it to whatever you want it to be. And that's why I have to cook for myself, so I can make what I want to eat. So we've just finally chopped a couple of tablespoons of dill. Uh, and we're just gonna add that in as well. And here I've got some capers, probably about a tablespoon. And then we're just gonna roughly chop these. You just want like the onion, the dill, to all be roughly the same size. And there we go. And what I like to do, I actually get some yogurt. Yogurt? <laughs> and just like a heap tablespoon, this by no means is traditional, but it just sort of does lighten up everything a bit more and just means you can like eat a lot more tartar sauce without feeling sick, which I think is ultimately a good thing. And yeah, just like whisk that in. So this is the final product. Really good on like cold roast beef even. Um, traditionally it is done with like fish and seafood, but give it a little taste. A little bit more salt. A bit more, a bit of cracked black pepper. And there we have it. So, over here, you can look at my potatoes. And they're like, not fully cooked, but they're like, my knife's going through them with ease, and you can see that the edges are starting to break down. So I'm just gonna strain these potatoes. We just wanna give them a little like, toss around like that. And what that does, first it encourages like, all that steam to escape, which is like, less water inside the potato is like, crispier edges. And then it also sort of breaks the edges up a little bit, so the, um, Look, I don't really know the science, but I just know this is, this is what you need to do to get it like real good. I've had a tray preheating here for a bit. Just got some butter over here. 
And also at this stage, if you want to add some rosemary or garlic, that's also great. And then I've got just like a neutral flavored oil. So this is a sunflower oil. Olive oil will be too strong in flavor. We're just gonna add these potatoes in here and just like mix them up a little bit so all that butter and oil is coating those potatoes. That's gonna go in the oven for about 45 minutes. Every 20 minutes or so, I'm just gonna give them a little shake up so it's all cooking evenly. And now it's something like this salad. And essentially, I'm just gonna use three Lebanese cucumbers and one kohlrabi. It's like an unusual vegetable for most home cooks, I assume. Really mild and sweet and like crunchy, almost like if a radish didn't have that peppery edge, it's not a dissimilar sort of texture. I like a bit of a streaky peel. I just think it looks pretty awesome. Does absolutely nothing to the flavor, but you know, food is visual. into our bowl. And then with the kohlrabi, this outer skin's pretty inedible. So I like to trim the tops and bottoms off. I'm just gonna cut into like batons, I would say, like big sort of chip shapes like that. And then from there, we're just gonna do a similar process to the cucumber, where it's just sort of odds and sods. So that's the kohlrabi done. I'm gonna pop that in with the cucumbers. And then we're gonna go in with the juice, half a lemon, some fine salt, a nice amount of olive oil, and then we're just gonna give it a little mix. Alrighty, finally for the fish. Over here I've got barramundi with the skin on. Very accessible, I got it from like the middle bit of the fillet. I asked my fish to do that. I'm just gonna show you guys how to get a real nice crispy skin on your barramundi. So we're just gonna pinch it like that, and then just go through it. It sort of helps the fish cook more evenly, but also make sure that like the fish doesn't like buckle under the heat, so it doesn't like contract as much, it's easier to control. And here I've just got my pan preheated like a medium heat. Again, another neutral oil, I just like to use like a nice sunflower oil. I'm gonna put some fine salt on my fish on the skin side. I'm testing it, I can hear the sizzle. And I'm just gonna lay it away from me, just like that. I just like to get like a little pan that I have and then you can just like lightly press it down. And then at this point, I'm just gonna season the flesh side and I'm also gonna put some pepper on it because I like pepper. I would say we're gonna cook for about seven, eight minutes on the skin side and then flip it for a further two minutes on the um, flesh side. So we can see over here, like the flesh is starting to go a bit white and I'm just gonna flip it and check it. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. You know, that's like, that's crispy skin. So our potatoes are pretty much done. Um, our fish is getting nice and crispy and now it's a good time to just sort of bring everything together. So here's our tarte sauce. Pop that into a nice bowl. We've got our salad and it's been sitting for about 20 minutes or so, getting real nice and juicy. I've just got a bit of mint over here. I'm just probably gonna tear like, probably six to eight like really nice big leaves. Like that. We've got our beautiful potatoes over here, so you can see they're just like real crispy. I'm just gonna pop them into a bowl. And finally with our fish, we can just give it a last flip. And yeah, let's play it up. We've got our beautiful crispy potatoes. Fish over here. Go with our salad. And then with that tartar sauce, be real generous with it. All right guys, thanks for tuning in today. Got some beautiful crispy skin fish, some crispy potatoes, soft tartar sauce, fresh salad. For the recipes and other videos and ideas and just general personality things, click on the link to my Instagram over here. Yeah, see you guys next time. All right, bloody tuck in. It's just, it's just good, you know? I think you and your friends are very happy with that.